Hello, yes, it's me again. Um, I just wanted uh, to tell you another little story of mine. Um, this concerns, uh, I don't know whether you've heard of him, um, Michel Foucault, uh, the, uh, the um, French um, critic who um, talked about nobody uh, uh, listening to the voices of prisoners and uh, people with mental health problems, supposedly, and people who have been marginalised by mainstream society. Um, so that is actually quite important to me now as it happens. When I was younger, I didn't realise it was going to be quite so important to me. Um, a friend of mine advised me to, to read his work and loads of other work as well by various French men. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I did kind of attempt a little bit, but I pretended I hadn't. And I met him in a cafe later. And, uh, and he said, what have you read of the text I recommended? And I said, oh, Foucault, pretending, you know, obviously meaning Foucault. And uh, he looked at me, he knew that I meant for call, and he sort of looked all sort of stern and everything. Um, but then, uh, weirdly enough, it did turn out, like I thought, you know, there might be foo callers in, foo as in mad, you know. Um, but then it did really turn out to be for call, because um, then this, I found this great big history of sexuality that had been written by him, and I bought it. And like it started off with something like this old Trump relieving himself sexually in the countryside in a field or something. And like I did start reading it. But like the coincidence of me having made a joke about having read for call and then suddenly having this whole great big um, history of sexuality that came out by him. It was as though people were playing games with me, actually. Um, you know, I was really flummoxed by it. But I just want to say also, like um, Jacques Derrida, Derrida um, you know, actually, you know, like I do sort of, you know, I can see the postmodernist thing and, you know, I can see uh, that some of the hierarchical and oppressive structures might have needed to be broken down a little but the thing is that actually, you know, um, this French man himself, like he might as well have been called in English derider because he does deride. He does. He does. Like what I'm frightened by is that the whole postmodernism has actually not succeeded in breaking down any hierarchy, particularly, but but actually also um, unpeen unpinned meaning from its anchor and and that that is does seem problematic to me in some respects but it wouldn't if we gave people with learning difficulties credence and respect um but it does as it stands because we're not doing that actually despite all that work that has supposedly gone in by these frenchmen and I also wanted to say that we noticed that it's French men and not French women. And I did read a book that um, was prescribed once um, by Helen Sixu or something called Six Steps Up the Ladder of Meaning or something. I'd like it, it was hysterical and emotional. And you may, um, you may kind of. Um, criticise me for having, for having a masculine turn of mind or thinking, but like I couldn't get on with this woman's um, poetry. I could see that it was poetry, but like I couldn't see, I, I, I could see maybe she was desperately trying to undermine something, but maybe didn't know how to. And like that made me feel some sympathy for her. And like I did feel as though there was some flailing going on there. And, uh, you know, I was very worried by, by it. So that's it for now on uh, Michel Foucault and Jacques Derrida. <laughs> Bye.